This conference will now be recorded. This is the last time even I'm accessing. Let's create data type by using App Studio. I never accessed it before because I don't I don't like it first of all. Okay, this is App Studio. Where is it? You see, you go to Data Explorer here. Okay, do you know how to access App Studio? Let me tell you. Otherwise, me screenshots, me screenshots. This is where you find App Studio. Okay. And choose App Studio. When you choose App Studio, you will be landing to here. Click on Data Explorer. Already I'm in Data Explorer because I have already done it once. I mean, like just a few minutes back. Click on New button. Here is the new button, right? New button I clicked on. Okay, and here, uh, as usual, what is that? Name of the data type. What is that we thought of taking? States. Click on advanced. Just let us see what is there. Okay, advanced. And here, implement. See what is that we have already discussed. You can create in any data class, right? Organization data, framework data, implementation data. By default, implementation data class is there, or you may choose. This is implementation data class only it is showing. Okay, let me manually editing is not there. This is UHC health insurance UI pages class. I don't want to go with UI pages class. See, this is one disadvantage. It's not allowing me to hold on. It's not allowing me to choose our nation data if I have to choose. Is there any other such option available after creation? Hold on. It's for deleting. That's one disadvantage. This is not right. Okay, they have to still modify it. Let's go ahead and deal with implementation data class as it is. And we want to define the data source now itself. And then next step. Okay, maybe next level they have anything for editing. Let's see once. There's nothing much here at the front first screen. And click on next and what is the system create new i wanted to go ahead and create new no i don't want to deal with this okay let's go ahead with page only pega only okay i don't want to go to third party that is a different one let's deal with the current prvc only so i am just trying to create a data type of by name states and columns and all let's see Hold on, I'm just cross verifying these options. I don't want to go with submit. Let's submit and see what is going to happen. Submit. Do I need to again explicitly refresh or what? Okay, after you create, it is it is taking a key column by default, which is also wrong. It should not happen like this at all. They are insisting us to use a key column of PAY GUI ID. I don't want it to be GUI ID. Okay, anyhow, I will add the fields. My own fields I will be adding. What are the fields? State code. Then how come they are telling to use this wizard? Okay. State code that is one column. And then submit and add another. What is the next one? State name. And then submit straight code state name what is the next one record step i want a delete icon here but they are not giving record step print a screen record step and here you see straight code state name two columns came and you can add the data by clicking on add record add data some state codes it's up to you what state codes you wanted to add okay so i'm adding these stored state codes
okay so you can add n number of states that's up to you please don't mind if there is any spelling mistake in that so now the data type has got created done completed so data type you can also create by using app studio going to this one but still there are some of the things which they have to take care further but anyhow as of now we are okay let's see this data type is created in the uh, can be seen in the admin studio or not let's go back to admin i mean like dev studio that's what i'm sorry dev studio data types you are getting states here open this and leave about that uh, and we can see go to dev studio we can see this it's there now go to class a app explorer go to app explorer what are the rules that gets created when you create a data type a class should have got created right i told the names data states and the property should have been created sorry where are the properties this here data pages and report definitions i'll tell you later but no no need to bother class is created properties are created and a physical table would have got created in the back end right so how can i see what is the table that has been created you can go to test connection that is okay and if i wanted to see the mapping class and table mapping this is the navigation just for your information it has been created one table is created in the back end so remind me on monday i will tell you about this pr and pc all that okay i forgot to tell you that and and this is how we can create a table so now you can go ahead and create activity anyhow time is not sufficient i will create activity and i'll explain you on monday only so just a table creation from the app studio everyone clear